Okay, I only have a few hours to produce this whole video, so let me get straight to the point. I'm pretty mad. This is the Corsair HS70 Pro Wireless, and it is $100. Now, don't get me wrong, when it works properly, it's amazing. Low latency wireless audio, pretty good sounds for digital, and battery life used to be really good. Yeah, notice how I said used to be good? It's been four months and I've been nothing but gentle with it. Yet somehow three deal breaking issues have developed. One, the electrical noise in the background has done nothing but get worse when nothing is playing. And with my tinnitus, it makes me lose my mind. Two, the charging power LEDs, they're just non-functional. It does not even turn on, not like that matters anyways, because the third issue is it doesn't even last 30 minutes. That's right, this advertises, a, what is it, a 16 hour battery life, but I can't even get remotely close to an hour. It's honestly disappointing. And I even have issues where sometimes the headset just shuts off while in use, even while it's plugged in. And it's not even a few defective units. In the reviews spread across both Newegg as well as Amazon, there are hundreds of complaints about electrical noise, battery degradation, as well as audio cutting off completely, and even more. But I actually have a little surprise coming in that might just fix a few of these issues, so leave a like and subscribe if you want to see that in an upcoming video. I digress. There are still other issues I do have with it, but I don't mind. Um, one of them is that it still uses a uh, micro USB right here. Um, there's no reason for it to be USB-C, but micro USB is a fragile boy and it's a bit hot after prolonged use, but that also might be because uh, the battery is just fucking trash. But I mean, let's talk about the positives, huh? The microphone on it is very good, not only for a wireless microphone, but for a headset in general, although I still use my own microphone independently with it. And the headset isn't too gamery, I guess this is kind of like a personal opinion, but it does go with the whole low prile aesthetic that I'm trying to build throughout my whole entire setup. It has very high quality stitching on the band. And it's also way more comfortable than most of the headsets out there and it has pretty good build quality. Yet it still isn't too heavy. Uh, the software isn't too invasive too. And that includes some pretty good hard hardware monitoring because well, they make coolers, cases, RAM, fans, etc, etc, etc. However, the consistent negatives far outweigh those positives. Unless there's a new iteration release, I really don't recommend that you buy these. If you're looking for an alternative, um, I recommend trying the HyperX Cloud 2 wireless headset. It's even a bit less and I've tried it on and it's pretty comfortable. Not as comfortable as this, but it's really comparable. And its sound quality, although is a bit too bassy, is pretty good. And it's a headset that's been around for a long time, so you can trust it. And you can also do your own looking around if you would like to. But the main point of this and the rest of my videos and the ones in the future is, as I grow, I wanna help you people find the best product to put your money on, as well as to help you guys smile after another long day. Which is another reason these headphones make me so upset. Thousands of people have had these issues and in most situations when they get their replacements, it gets worse with a new pair. And I know that I don't have the same reach as other larger YouTubers, but it is my goal to make sure that people can get quality products without potentially sacrificing not only quality, but the money that you and everyone else works for. Anyways, that concludes today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope all of you having... I'm, are you, I can't even get the outro. I hope all of you have an amazing day. I love y'all. Peace.